Hey anime enthusiasts! Welcome back to Ejim Tran, the place where we explore the vast world of anime. Today we're delving into the 8th sun. Are you kidding me? An isekai that adds a fresh twist to the genre. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for all things anime. Now let's jump into the review. First things first, let's set the stage. The 8th sun follows the unexpected journey of Shingo Ichinamiya, a salary man who wakes up in a medieval fantasy world as the eighth son of a noble family. It's a classic isekai setup, right? But here's where things get interesting. Shingo decides to embrace his new life and sets out on a path of ambition, navigating the challenges of nobility and magic. Now let's talk characters. Shingo's determination to rise in the ranks and make a name for himself provides a solid foundation for the narrative. Each character, from his fellow nobles to magical beings, brings something unique to the table. The series introduces a diverse cast with distinct personalities, adding layers of depth and humor to the story. The world building in the Eighth Sun is impressive. We're not just exploring Shingo's personal journey. We're delving into the political landscape of the fantasy realm. The animation captures the essence of the medieval world, and character designs are detailed and visually appealing. It's a treat for the eyes, offering a rich backdrop for the unfolding narrative. Now what sets this isekai apart? It's the unexpected humor and unique elements woven into the story. Shingo's interactions, the challenges he faces, and the twists in the narrative bring a refreshing charm to the series. While it follows some isekai conventions, The Eighth Sun manages to surprise us with its distinctive take on the genre. As the plot develops, we see Shingo facing unforeseen challenges, both personal and political. The ambition to rise in the ranks is met with obstacles, and the series keeps us on our toes with its twists and turns. It's not just about the protagonist's journey, but also the broader implications on the fantasy world he now calls home. As we wrap up The Eighth Sun, are you kidding me, is a delightful addition to the isekai genre. It combines ambition, humor, and unique storytelling, making it an enjoyable watch. On the Ejim Tran rating scale, I give it 7. What are your thoughts on this isekai adventure? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for joining me in this review of The Eighth Sun. Are you kidding me? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow anime enthusiasts, and subscribe for more anime explorations. Stay tuned to Ejim Tran for the latest in the anime world. Until next time, keep exploring the vast and diverse universe of anime. See you in the next video.